Yeah, Trisha and Todd, we're high above the 15 right now, taking a look at these conditions. And this is really important as folks head on down for that celebration, either heading downtown to Fremont Street or down to the Las Vegas Strip because there are some major closures that will be happening on some of those 15 off-ramps. Go ahead and take a look. We're right above I-15 and Tropicana. Now, this is one of those exits where momentarily we will see NHP troopers blocking off the eastbound exit ramps here at Tropicana heading towards the Strip. They'll also be blocking off Flamingo and Spring Mountain eastbound exits as well. That's happening right here at 5 o'clock. So, again, we can expect that to happen any minute if you plan on coming down to the Strip here for these New Year's Eve celebrations. Now, you can also expect other streets around the boulevard to be closing as well. That will happen around 545 for other streets, roads, and alleys leading westbound onto the boulevard between Sahara and Mandalay Bay. So we are going to stay up here on Chopper 13, kind of monitor uh, these c conditions as they continue out here and as those uh, roads start to close off here in those freeways. You can imagine this is a very busy time, and then a lot of these exits, they won't reopen again until 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. So we are talking about hours where you will not be able to use these exits. But for now, I want to send things over to my colleague, 13 Action uh, News reporter, Leah Pizzetti. She's at the Palms right now with Jackie Caustic. Uh, Leah, it's a little bit chilly up here in Chopper, but how is it going to be for the rest of the Valley on the ground watching those fireworks? You know what, Austin? It's chilly up there. It's going to be chilly on the ground as well. I know we're at Apex right now, 55th floor, and it's a little bit windy up here. I was going to say, our hair has been blowing around, but we feel like we have hit the New Year's Eve jackpot up here at the Apex Club because we are going to be able to see those Gruchy fireworks from all over uh, the Strip when they go off right at midnight. We cannot wait for that moment. Yeah, and the lucky thing about our location here at the Palms is we are just off the Strip, so if you are heading here, the traffic really isn't going to be as bad as trying to get to the strip. But yeah, like Austin said, it's cold. I want to show you our current temperatures right now. We are in the 50s for the most part. Uh, we did peak in those 50s today. We're going to hang on to those 50s a little bit longer. Uh, but then heading into tonight, we're going to see mostly 40s through the evening, mid 40s. Uh, and then actually by about midnight, getting down to 40 degrees is what we're expecting right as the clock hit mid hits midnight <laughs> as we head on into the new year, the new decade. Hard to believe. So definitely going to be cold cold outside. If you are heading out, bundle up. Jackie and I are uh, clearly bundled up right now. So <laughs> we are bundled up, but we feel pretty good. Yeah. The wind is really the only element uh, up here on the 55th floor. And we do want to let you guys know if you haven't made plans for tonight yet, uh, the Apex Club actually has spots still available. So if you come up to the door, uh, you can still get in. I think it's about a $65 ticket to get in. But like we said before, the best view in town and we'll be here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come say hi. All right, well, we are going to send things back to Nina Porshunkula in studio with uh, more on what's going on tonight. Yeah, Nina. Leah and Jack.